Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to part two of this Thor effect. Uh, this is the part for the lightning. Uh, the last part was the eye, the glowing eye that you see here. Um, you guys probably hate me for this, but I'm not doing every step of how to do the effect. What I'm doing is I'm going to show you how to use all the tools to create the effect. That way you can apply that for the other effects. So for example, this eye, we only did one eye. Uh, both eyes are created the exact same way. Um, the only other thing we have in here is the stuff from the hammer, but we're doing that over in the hammer Hammer comp right there. So There we go. Let's start off the hammer comp. I'm closing the eye comps that way. I don't kind of get lost and I'm gonna exit out of that too. So I have the this is what we're working on So what we're doing here is this is the hammer effect. So I'm not going to show you how to do this crazy big bolt um, or anything. Uh, let's get rid of these lens flares here. Let's get rid of those big strikes. That's what I want to show you. Why do we have that there? I don't know. That's weird. Um, so what I'm going to show you basically is how to get this effect here. And if we play this, you can see that the lightning is moving up and down the hammer. I feel like, yes, it's not the biggest strike in this whole video that I've done, but that I, I found was one of the easiest things I've done, but also it used pretty much everything you're going to know and learn about this lightning tutorial and how to use the lightning. Once you know how to do that, how to get it to move along the hammer, just like this, how it's showing you, you'll know how to do this arm crazy spike or the handle or the big crazy spike in the air or any other kind of sparks. That's what you need to learn first before you jump right into it. So let's get to it. So the first thing we're, we're gonna do is the exact same thing as last time. You're gonna save first. Make sure this is 32 bit down there just to kind of get all the colors back to normal. And you're gonna hit command Y hit your video first, then hit command Y and you're gonna change this to white. Now, instead of masking first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and import now, like I said, I got this off of um, Video Copilot site. This is a free plugin to help you edit faster. Um, that's actually where I got most of my knowledge from this how to do this lightning tutorial. So if you don't like mine, check his out. His is an hour long. Mine's gonna not be that long. So I'm sorry, I just kicked something out under my desk. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in advanced lightning. Um, I have this added to favorite, so it comes up first right there. Now we're gonna get rid of this glow because it's gonna be way easier to work with and we'll get a much better result if we do it on our own. So let's play this. Nothing's going on with this bolt, but let's change that to strike, for example. Nothing's going on, okay, uh, bouncy. Nothing's going on. Breaking? Nothing's going on. Um, anywhere? Nothing's going on. Now, the reason for that is very simple. You don't have this doing anything. So, when I crank this up, it moves. Not now, but let's say I hit that there, go to here, and crank that to one. Now, when I hit play, it moves. Why? Because basically, this is controlling the lightning bolt moving. So what we're gonna do is basically, like being all craziness. What we're doing is uh, we just have to create keyframes to actually tell it to move um, instead of being static. That's all that we have to really do. Now, there's a variety of different ones that we can choose from. There's direction, which I have here. There's strike, which if you hit let's say your origin point here and your direction point there. Same idea, um, it's just one to the other. Break in, same idea. Anywhere, it goes everywhere. Omni, uh, let's move my origin here so I can see it. Omni is very similar to anywhere, very similar. Uh, what we're going to focus on for this hammer is called two-way strike. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to clear this out. And for two-way strike, what we're going to do is we're going to go and basically hit the stopwatch on origin and direction. So 
What I'd like to do with the hammer is let's start on the one corner on origin and on direction we'll go to the other corner. And so what we're going to do is it's going to go back and forth. Basically continuing in a zigzag. But before I do that, let's increase this brightness here. Let's increase that to 99% and we'll save that here. And so let's play it for about 15 frames. Let's say about 15. And let's put that to the bottom. Direction at the top. And we're just going to go through. And make sure it moves. Now as you can see it doesn't. So we're going to go about halfway here. Which uh, 6. Let's just go to 6. And we're just going to put that to the middle. Now you just got to do this through all the frames. To make sure it stays in place. Remember it doesn't have to be perfect. But it would be nice. So when you play this out, it's going to look like that. Um, that's your energy. Now the reason why we don't have this turned on is because it's already moving. This will just change it if it's staying in a constant state. But you know what? Let's change it anyways. Let's have that under 4, 1.4, and at the end we'll increase this to 20. So that's just going to make it move even more. Let's keep that as it is. Let's change this to a bluish color like that. Don't even look at the glow. Now, what I want you guys to look at is down here. Now, you've got the forking, which that's going to be basically the amount of bullets. Now, if you have this on strike, you'd look slightly different. Where was I? Just like that. Uh, but we're going to keep this on or anywhere even. Look at anywhere. It's crazy. Um, one or a bunch. Uh, we're just going to keep this on two-way strike. Now, if you hit the K, it basically lets it go together or apart. Now, what I find, as you can see in my video, is when I have it first turn on or when it slowly dims out, I will put a keyframe on decay, and that's just a nice kind of transition out of the actual bullet. Uh, let's just not worry about that for now. We'll select that off. We'll put a little bit of decay in there, but not too much. Turbulence is just how fast it moves, pretty much, I think. Um, down here is your fork strength. So how basically, what's the opacity of the forking out? So let's just change that to 79. Forking variation, uh, let's keep that around 35. And core drain, so basically the main little bit, how much does it drain out? So let's just have that at, let's keep it at 21. And now you can change this to semi-linear, which I think looks cool. Spline. Let's keep that as semi-linear. Now let's play that out. So that's looking pretty good for Thor's hammer. Now that's pretty good there. So what we're going to do is I like that as it is. And we're going to go and pre-compose this. And remember, move all attributions. I don't know why I named it as that for a comp, but it doesn't matter. Name it as something that you know what it is. I named it as white something. I feel so good about myself. So what you're going to do is there's a variety of different things we'll add. Um, I can't remember them all. I'll be honest. So I made a preset. Lightning. Don't worry. I'll go through it all with you. So... The first thing we have is a solid composite. Actually, let me turn all this stuff up and we'll turn it on together. So what you're going to do is you're going to add a solid composite. That's all you have to do for this one. Just add it. What does this do? Well, you can see a black, black background, can't you? Um, turn that on and off. That's pretty much what that does. So what that wants you to do is change this to add. Uh, CC vector blur. So what you're going to do is you're going to have that at 65% in your rigid smoothness to 7.2. So when you turn this on, that's kind of going to blur everything out. But don't worry, we're going to come back in there uh, because you're going to have your turbulence displace. And that's basically with these two together, it's going to make it look like a much more sparky static. Now your turbulence displace is what's going to 
take up a lot of your rendering. But that's pretty much what it does. It chops up your actual lightning, makes it seem a lot more rough, which is really nice to do. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add on our first glow. Um, you're going to have your radius, anything you want. I always say your first glow is lower, and then you slowly work your way higher. So have this around, maybe let's keep that around 20 there. Um, everything else you don't have to touch. Now your glow threshold, keep that to zero and your intensity to 0 0.1 because you're, you're going to have a bunch of stuff basically on there. So you want to have your glow intensity as low as you can because the higher it is, it's just going to look like a big giant blob. So your glow, turn that on. That's 115. You can change this anywhere. It just has to be just over 100. I like to have it. Um, so let's eh, screw it. Let's go. I'll be a rebel. Let's change that to 90. Um, your glow three, 274. I have it set to. Uh, we can have that around 250 or 300. Let's change that to 300 there. You'll have all these. Now you're going to put a CC composite. And what that's going to do is that's just going to put in those original. It's going to basically thicken up your original sparks. And you're going to add in an exposure as well to brighten, brighten everything up. Add in a hue and saturation. And you're going to drop your saturation down to about minus 30%. Now what this is going to do is, as you can see, kind of dims everything down a little bit. Just so it's nicer to work with and it looks a lot more visually appealing. Now you're going to add on another CC composite, and that's just going to thicken up your sparks. That's pretty much the main little bits of it, and that's exactly what's going to slow up your computer. But that's pretty much how I did the lightning effect. Um, now, as you can see, that's a little bright. Actually, that's way too bright. So what I'm going to do is actually let's let this render out because you want it to be bright and then dim, bright and then dim. Okay, so that's how it looks so far it's very bright and then it goes down but what i'm going to do is i'm going to get rid of this third glow and that i think looks much more visually appealing than anything else um i always recommend you always do everything in this order and then start playing around with everything if you don't want that last glow on there you can get rid of it if you like the last glow and you want to maybe get rid of the second one that will work as well that actually looks even better um, do whatever you feel will be best. I always recommend doing these steps first uh, and then experimenting. Okay, so this is exactly how it will look at the end. So what we did is we got rid of the second glow and I feel like that looks really nice. But like I said, keep all this in there. You can add more glows, you can take it away, you can lower the opacity. But start off, when you start off with your lightning, always put those steps in and then toy with it after because that will give you the rough looking for it. Now, you can always get rid of the turbulence displace if you want to, or even your CC vector blur. That's gonna make everything render much faster. Um, that's just something to keep in mind. It will slow down your rendering time, but you have to decide whether it's worth it or not. So another thing that you can do is you can add in a flare. Now in here, it might not look as great, but, Let's add it in anyways. Optical flares. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Let's go option. Uh, cool. Uh, let's get rid of some of this crap in here. Beauty. Hit OK. Change that to on transparent. We already went through a lot of this already. Screen. I'm going to go add. And you'll just have to track the hammer. Now, alt click this, change your brightness, remember. So let's go wiggle 9 to 8, close bracket. That's going to change our brightness. And then. Let's adjust the position. So that's that's good there. Let's have it. Let's just keep it right after the hammer, just like that. All 
All right, and there we have the actual um, optical flare, the actual flare with the electricity. Now you can have that or not. I honestly think it looks better without it. Um, you can, if you have a lot of lightning, then you put it in. But if you don't, there's really no point in having it. But one other thing I want to show you guys um, is let's open this back up again and actually get into our advanced lighting comp. Now, if you wanted to, you can option click any of these and put in the expression wiggle. Let's say open bracket five to six, close bracket. Okay. And so if you do it to this one, it's going to go and make sure everything's uneven. Even if you did it over here and go to your core radius and go wiggle open open bracket and say nine two seven right. and that's going to go and address the radius of the actual um lightning bolt now actually seven would be a too much i would do maybe nine to two if anything so as you guys can see what i just did there is uh, by doing the wiggle effect, I made it move a lot quicker and at a lot more random values, as well as you can see it kind of getting thicker and thinner and actually at one point even disappear. Now, you don't have to do it to that extent, but at least that shows you that you can change the values and if you make it more random, it seems much more realistic and a lot more fun. And you know what? That's where I'll leave that for you guys. Um, let me know how successful you guys are at this uh, this effect. I really wanna see basically what your stuff will look like. Um, remember, check out Video Copilot. That's where pretty much I learned a lot of my stuff and check out Film Riot. Uh, I basically, I wouldn't have been able to do this without them. They supplied the footage, they gave me the idea. They made me waste the last few days in my room doing nothing. Um, Actually, today was the first day I got out in like three days. But it doesn't matter. Um, it's been a great opportunity to work on this. Uh, thank you guys so much. And tweet me your ideas. Thank you so much for watching. And take off.